Hello, welcome back to Markenstein Coin Lab. This next series we're going to be discussing is memory for the motherboard and uh, we've just discussed CPUs. I picked out a CPU, the Ryzen 7 3700 and the reason why is it does uh, okay for making some mining. Um, so after after you get would select your motherboard, you select your CPU, you would need to get memory. So at this point we will drop down to specifications off the Micro Center website. I just uh, uh, Best Buy, Amazon, Newegg, they they all offer the, the these kind of specs and stuff like that. I've just uh, I I just tend to prefer the Micro Center website. But as what we're looking for here is memory specifications. One what kind of memory they use, the memory types. So you keep that in mind right there. You look at what per slot, how much can I put in, how big of a, a memory stick can I put in. And then you also look at if I, how much, if I put in those memory slots, can this motherboard take totally, which is the 32 gigabytes. So we will now head over to keeping these numbers in mind, 2133, 24, 2667. We will look at the memory on the Micro Center website. And again, any questions, I just ask a, a, a sales associate and they will be able to help you. We will look at, now I see this starts out, I like the price, but it starts out with a DDR4-3000. I would have to make sure that the memory would go down to those numbers. So the top number was a DDR4-266-66. Um, would be this one. So for forty four ninety nine, I I'm kind of looking at this. I'm saying, okay, what do I get here? Well, you get a you get the G skill. You get one eight gigabyte stick. It's DDR4, which you want to make sure, and it's two sixty six sixty six. And then you you look now as I mean you'll compare, but you'll say, well, what's this one? Well, this is DDR3 over here. We'll keep going down. Then you can say, okay, well, I could also, you could get a kit of two with two four gig sticks if you want to go that route. DDR4 2400, that would work. Uh, you look over here, this is DDR3. Um, DDR4. Yeah, let's see, DDR4, now 3200 again. When the number goes above you, memory will oftentimes scale back to the numbers. You just have to make sure on the package that it'll drop into the numbers that'll work for the motherboard. Uh, so these are good sticks here. These are good brands. Uh, we'll go back up to the one I would probably pick just because I'm on a budget. Would be this one. It has heat sinks on it which are a way to help the chip stay cool if you use them continually. So that's good too. You can get a bare chip kind of like this. The, these work okay. But I, I plus these I think look cool. So um, as this would be the, the, the next thing I would get is the memory which I will go to the motherboard real quick and show you what I'm talking about. Okay we pull up the motherboard here. This is the PCI slots. This is where the video card would go. This is the CPU slot. This is where the CPU would go and these two brackets above and below the uh, chip is where the uh, 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 CPU fan, uh, cooling fan would go. It would snap on and you have some thermal paste so it helps it conduct heat. That's very important. And then here, right here, is where you see the uh, DDR4 sticks would go. You could get one or two. So that is the explanation. My other thing I will show you quickly is video cards. This is why I've kind of opted people to invest in Bitcoin or Ethereum is the uh, cost on these are roughly around $900 for one that would mine uh, a pretty good amount. Um, you could also, you see one here for 300 that's a GTX 1050 Ti. That wouldn't mine as much as this one. But as far as gaming, these both would be good gaming. It's just this one could do a uh, higher level video games. If you go down here, you see again we're still looking at $900 or $2,500. So they have different video cards. And again, that would go in that slot I showed you, the PCIe slot. That was the long slot. And uh, 
so this is a quick synopsis of the DDR4 memory you would need and the uh, and the video cards uh, that you would also put in the motherboard. Alright, have a good day.